There's a YouTuber who recently has been bugging me for weeks, and I'd like to say why. This is not an exposed video. I just want to tell him how to improve on his videos. 69. Now it's so Whiplash has a way of getting YouTube videos, and the way he does it is really bad. And you know how he does it? By using a screen recorder and records it from his browser. <sighs> when is this over? Look, it's not hard to download a video at all. You could just look up clipconverter.cc or convert to mp3.net to download an mp4 or mp3 file. Then you can just plot that down on a timeline and start editing. It's really not that hard. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Now Whiplash does these videos where he has his character on the right side of the screen while he's talking about a topic, which is not bad. In fact, I love videos like that. I'm actually doing that right now. But one thing that bothers me is that he always puts a video on top of the top left corner about what he's talking about, which is both distracting and unnecessary. I suggest taking them out and just having the character drawings and maybe the occasional video clip, but not have it on the top left corner. Just make it a full screen clip. You know what I mean. If we don't control insiders, this will be... Whiplash has a series called YouTuber Review, where he, you guessed it, reviews big YouTubers. He also has another series called Mini YouTuber Reviews, where he reviews a couple of small, unknown YouTubers. I asked him if I could get reviewed, but he hasn't yet. He probably won't, since this video exists. <laughs> But anyway, he recently changed the rating system from the easy to understand rating to a number rating system. Like, why make it so hard to understand? You had it perfect in the first few reviews, but why add a number system? There's no point. Big, fat, love, find common ground. A lot of the things Whiplash says in his videos always somehow bite him later on. Like in his recent video, which was the second mini YouTuber review. He complained about one of the YouTubers having a slow frame rate in his gameplay. And you know, I can't even give them the fact that it would work as good background gameplay because it moves at two frames a second. I just... <sighs> yeah, in two of his storytime videos, he used a gameplay that it had the exact same frame rate. Like, why? Not, not fatal. We want to build and here come the nitpicks, and this is going to be a long one. Whiplash usually complains about people using Overwatch, Doom, and CSGO Surf gameplay, and to that I say... Who cares? In my opinion, I actually find those gameplays entertaining to watch. You wanna know why? Because stuff actually freaking happens. Except for CSGO Surf. I just find it relaxing to watch. Another nitpick I have with him is his outro. His outro usually has a YouTuber, or YouTubers, just filling up the entire screen. I mean, not literally, but there's no point. You could've just made one video talking about small YouTubers that you find underrated, but you don't have to put them in the outro every single time. Also, why have the list of every single YouTuber you're gonna review in the future? I don't even see a point in putting every YouTuber in the list. It just makes the whole description messy and big, and I suggest that you put it only in YouTube review videos. Non -fatal communication. Anyway, with all that being said, I don't hate this guy's content. I just feel like he needs someone to tell him what he needs to improve on just so he can take him into consideration. Whiplash, I feel like you can improve. I really do. I hope you can take what I said and use them. Anyway, I really hope you get to reviewing me. Damn, I really sound desperate. Anyways, that's all. See you in the next video. Goodbye.